Zer's back, and we're going to see what he has in his inventory this week, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. If it's your first time here and you love Destiny and learning all things about the game, then subscribe and click on the bell, that way you guys don't miss out on anything. So, Zer is back and he is actually located on IO, so we're going to mark him and then we are going to go see what he has this week. Zer, what's up dude? So like always, we're going to start with the left hand side, we have the Raiden Flux, or the Raiden Flux, however you like to pronounce it, for the Hunter class which comes with two mobility and two resilience. Intrinsic perk on this is Snappy's Junctions, which quick successive attacks with Arc Staff increases damage output and duration. Then we have Plasteel Reinforcement mod, Restorative mod, and this actually comes with an Arc Paragon mod. Now, this is probably what I would consider probably the best exotic for your pole dancer. So yeah, it is definitely top tier. So I'm probably gonna give this a tier 1.5 in PvE as well as PvP, if not a tier 2. If you guys don't know what my tier scale is, I will put it in the description below. But this is definitely one of the best exotics to have for your pole dancer. So go ahead and grab this. Next exotic we'll be going over is the Centoseps for the Titan. And this actually comes with two resilience and one recovery. And trying to work on this is um, Biotic Enhancements, which Increase melee lunge range, improve melee damage when surrounded. Then we have Plasteel Reinforcement mod, as well as Restorative mod, and this also comes with a Kinetic Munition Loader. Now, I'm on the fence about this one. These are good if you're just doing the whole melee thing everywhere you go, you know, do a little bit of damage with your weapon and then finish them off with the melee. Then yeah, this is definitely perfect. Now, if I am correct, the Synthoseps have the longest range out of any exotic or any character in the game. So, this kind of gives you a little bit of an advantage when you are on your Titan. So, because it gives you that great advantage, then I'm probably most likely going to rate this a Tier 2 in PvE as well as PvP. Because that, that melee distance is huge. Like, really huge. So, if you guys don't have this, go ahead and grab it. And if you guys don't want it, don't worry about it. Next exotic we'll be going over is the Karnstein Armlets for the Warlock. This gives you a 1 mobility, 1 resilience, and 1 recovery. In terms of perk on this is Vampire's Caress, which melee attacks grant increased resilience and mobility. And they highlight injured enemies, melee kills greatly restore health. It also comes with uh, Mobility Enhancement mod. Plasteria Reinforcement mod, as well as Acceleration mod. Now, when Destiny 2 first came out and the Karnstein Armlets was released, these things were amazing. This was my go-to exotic to have, to use, no matter what, on every subclass of my Warlock. But, since the Curse of Osiris came and these got nerfed, my top pick would most likely be the Ophidian Aspect. And these will probably be maybe in like the top five. But the Ophidian aspect, I believe, or I feel, is a lot better than this version of the Karnstein armlets. And I really think that Bungie should have just left the Karnstein armlets as they were. You know, I still would have used the Ophidian aspect regardless, but since then, I probably would rate this a tier two in PvE as well as PvP. And I'm moving slower more towards a tier 2.5 to even a tier 3. You know, I just can't put my Ophidian Aspects down because I really feel like they are the best exotic for a Warlock, no matter what subclass you're on. And these, yes, they are pretty decent, but the Ophidian Aspects, in my opinion, are a lot better. Next in, final exotic we'll be talking about is the Weapon of the Week, which is the infamous Jade Rabbit. This is an exotic scout rifle. Intrinsic perk on this is the Fate of All Fools, which chaining body shots to gain bonus damage on your next precision shot and return ammo to the magazine. Then we have polygon rifling, armor piercing rounds, as well as Zen Moments. And like all exotics, this comes with a weapon attack mod. Plus five attack. Now, I have not been able to use my jade rabbit yet but i do have one um actually i think 
No, nope, it's on my hunter. I have it on my hunter, but I'm definitely going to do a review on this very soon. So go ahead and buy it anyways, you know, just in case. That way you have it in the inventory, and I'll let you guys know whether this is actually good or not. I haven't seen much use of it in PvE or PvP, but PvE, I'm pretty sure it has its uses. But PvP, where I think this weapon would shine a lot more, I'm going to have to uh, wait on that review for you guys to let you guys know. But grab it just in case, because, yeah, <laughs> this thing could possibly be very uh, dangerous. Next, we have your consumables, which is three of coins. You grab this, you pop it, and then you have four hours of a chance to get an exotic. Yay. Last but not least, we have your faded engram, and this will give you an exotic that you do not already have. So let's see what we get this week on our Titan. I already have the Synthoseps, and I already have the Jade Rabbit, so it's not going to give me any of those. We get the Lion Rampart. Oh, and I do have another video coming out very soon, right after this one. So stay tuned for that. And if you guys enjoy this video, feel free to watch these other two Destiny videos. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.